Welcome to creating a wall in Dynamo using Python. We'll use the Dynamo Python script to generate the wall. So the next thing we'll do is we'll add our um, Revit node and we'll go ahead and import Revit itself. Um, once we've imported Revit itself, we can go ahead and get the elements by the extending Revit. Um, and getting the elements. The next part we want to do is actually get the uh, document and the way we get the document is by using Revit services. From Revit services we want to actually get the um, persistent document manager so we'll go ahead and import it. Um, and then we actually want to get the tra the transaction, um, and we'll import the transaction manager. Uh, we'll send in the document into the um, doc using the current document that we're actually using. So it'll be the instance. Um, and then we'll grab the API, the Revit API itself from Autodesk.Revit API uh, from the database. And I'm going to import the X, Y, Z, the line, and the wall. And the user will send in the length um, and the level that they want to associate the base of the wall. Um, and I need to unwrap the level. Um, so I'm casting it in into a way that um, Python can actually read it. Uh, and once I do that, I'll get a couple of X, Y, Z. So you'll get your start and end point line. And you'll need to begin your transaction. This is a handshake with uh, Revit telling it that you're going to do something. Um, you're going to begin a, a transaction. Um, and you want to use the document, which is your current document, um, and you're going to generate a line, not not an actual physical line, just a just a um, a line in kind of programming. And then uh, inside that, you want to create your wall. You want to send it into your document, uh, and the line you generated from point your first point to your second point. Um, you want to then get the level ID. Uh, and then in the transaction, you actually want to finish off the transaction by using the transaction task done in that instance. And then you can send your wall out to the Dynamo. Um, the script actually failed. And, let's see, oh, yeah. So there's two periods at the very first of the CLR dot dot. It should be clr.reference on line 3. Um, all right, we'll just go ahead and fix that by replacing it. And there you go. It just builds, builds a wall. And here's the code. Um, I will post it somewhere, either on my uh, blog or, or try, trying to find a new new place to host code that you can copy and paste or kind of follow along or manipulate as, as you'd like. Uh, anyways, th thank you for watching.